I'm about to go ahead and call the police and say you got a weapon on me. I have no problem lying. You're welcome to do that, son, because I do have my in my truck right here. Got my hands up. Everybody, I'm Jason Blaha here. And as you guys know, the past several years, I've been living back in Houston, Texas. But recently, I heard about a new opportunity that arised back in California to become the new garage sale inspector. And I heard about this local opportunity thanks to my good friend Tanner from No One Safe. And that's why today we're going to be inspecting all the local garage sales. We're going to be checking them for deadly weapons and... If I happen to find a single deadly weapon on the premises, let's just say this footage will not be uploaded on YouTube when I have to go to my vehicle and get my AR-15, so let's hope that doesn't happen, guys. Let's hope it's just a peaceful day, the garage sales, and let's go see how this goes. How's it going, guys? What do you got? So, I've been getting calls. There's supposed to be a garage sale over here, but I don't see any customers. So, I was wondering if I can see some identification from everybody on these premises. You got a badge? Right here, son. That's not a badge. Jason Blaha. I'm not going to ID myself to anybody that's not law enforcement. I'm from the garage sale inspection unit in the LA County. Uh, I'm not, I don't even live here. See you later. I don't see a garage sale going on over here, son. So, as far as I'm aware, we've got a possible human trafficking ring going on right now. That's what we need to investigate. Check on that one. Absolutely, son, because I can call them just as fast. GSI Garage Sale Inspection Unit. Uh, Ma'am, this is under investigation for sex trafficking at the moment. Oh. Yeah, you might want to wait a second. Doing as far as I can see, you got a table which you can spank somebody's head on. That could be used as a deadly weapon. You got a bicycle. It's a little bit suspicious. You can run into somebody with a bicycle and kill them. Do you mind if I walk inside and check out this premises? Cannot. You got something to hide? I'm about to just say that you got a weapon and you're threatening me. I will get 911 here. I'm under duress with a weapon. I have no problem lying. There's no sex trafficking ring here. I appreciate it. Do you understand me? I'm about to go ahead and call the police and say you got a weapon on me. And, and it is... You're welcome to do that, son, because I do have my air for team in my truck right here. If you don't explain the reason for deadly weapons like this, I mean, this is a heavy box that you can smack somebody in the head with. I'm going to have to go into my vehicle and get my AR-15 or I'm going to have to paralyze you. You got a deadly weapon on you, son? I don't understand. Could I pass you down for some deadly weapon? No, don't touch me. Don't pass me down. Do you want me to come back with a warrant, son? I don't even know what you want. We just want to investigate the house, make sure there's no sex trafficking going on, and we'll be on our way. There is no sex trafficking going on. I don't have a misdemeanor. I don't have a felony. You're wearing shoes. I mean, I box squat 500 pounds. I don't know how much you box squat. If I was wearing those shoes and I kicked somebody in their face, that's a deadly weapon in and of itself. I have to report that to the GSI. I don't know who you stop by with these trucks interrogating me on my property about a garage sale, Dodge Ram van, Texas plates. Your body language is a little intimidating, son. Got my hands up. Likewise, I'm gonna come back with my hair for clean and a warrant. You have a good day, son. Hands out the window. Hey, have a stop. Stop. Window is okay. Oh, oh, oh. I have to turn it up, bro. Go down the window. This is like the worst video to get arrested for. <laughs> Thank you. 
You guys have never seen my videos before? Oh, the one where you post like people and don't be trying to fuck people? Yep, that's me. The guy lied just to call the cops and said we had a gun. You got anything on you, bro? Like any uh, knife or anything like that? Nope. What's inside these pouches? <laughs> Literally nothing. It's just the character. Do you know what's going on? Uh, I assume so. Yeah, okay. We have a YouTube channel where we do pranks. Yeah, 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 I've seen it. What is that too? I'm doing the Texas Gentleman character or something <laughs> today. I mean, what was the call about? Something about like a gun being pointed at someone. A gun being pointed? Yeah. Okay. How many subscribers do you have? A million now on YouTube. Congrats, man. Right, thanks for the cooperation, guys. We're gonna figure out what's going on right now. Right? We're gonna go meet up with whoever called us and we'll get their side of the story, your side of the story. For sure. How tall are you? Six foot. Yeah, how much do you weigh? 260. My ID says 240, but I'm about 260 right now. And what's your birthday? April 4, 96. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on probation for anything at all? Absolutely not. So his main concern was with you or anybody else in the car? I was the only one involved. If for some reason he is adamant that he saw a gun, you would be cool if you search your car just to make sure there is no gun to eliminate that from the story? Well, let me ask you a question. If you search my car and there's no gun, then we're free to go? Uh, I would have to talk to my partner and see. Okay. It's all recorded, right? Recorded. Yes, oh, it's on camera. I would like to look at the video then. Sure. That would make everything so much better for us. If you want to search my car for a gun, you're welcome to do that as well. You know I'm not actually some crazy guy who walks around pointing guns of people. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, that would be a banger video. <laughs> Unlike her deadly weapon over there. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm sure they already explained everything's going on, right? Something about an AR, you mentioned something, I'm gonna go grab my AR or something. He was very, very upset. He doesn't want you anywhere on his property. Of course. Okay, so please do not go back there. Alright, we're cutting you guys a break, okay? Do you have any questions for us? No, sir. Sorry about this guy. You're good, man, but we just got a call about AR, right, guns right. and stuff, so we have to do what we know we're gonna do. Where are you guys headed the rest of the day? Out of here, I guess. <laughs> we don't want you guys called again. That'll be the next PD, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, be safe out there. You as well. And, uh, you as well. Have a good one, guys. All right, guys. So after that first scene, we were literally held in handcuffs for like 30 minutes. All three of us. I don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck about Hugo. I know we'll be let out by the morning. I was just worried about Sandra, honestly, because he's on probation, felony probation. Yeah. So you get a full two years in prison, right? Yeah, something like that. In LA County, bro. Fuck that, bro. I've been doing burpees right now. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy that we're out right now, bro. I mean, it was LAPD. If we were like in Burbank, we'd be fucked right now. Yeah, luckily the cops were actually pretty chill. Because you know when cops pull up, we're we're always like very compliant. Like we always just tell them what's going on. We don't really troll them like a lot of YouTubers do because we actually look like a threat, especially when <laughs> You're gun, right. there's a gun involved. Bro, did you get the shot of them holding yeah. us at gunpoint? Yeah. Bro, as soon as the cop car pulled up, you could hear me probably. I was like, we're about to get held up by gunpoint. Sure enough, they got out of the car, literally both sides with their guns pointed at us. Bro. I mean, me and Hugh have been through bro, that before. Bro, the fucking helicopter flying around. At, we're at one of my best friends from high school. We're at his house right now and he got it on the Citizen app that apparently they sent out a notification to everybody in the area because there's an armed man walking around. I mean, certain this is normal Texas. <laughs> An armed van. I'm just lucky you didn't have your AR-15. You almost had to paralyze a couple cops. Right. I was doing my base, son. I could have easily broken out of those handcuffs. Yeah. I could have paralyzed all those cops. I was trying to hold them back, you know, right. sure he doesn't paralyze anyone. And once I paralyzed them, that's when I can kick them with the 500 pound box squat deadly kick. You think you could outrun the helicopter then? I box squat 500 pounds, son. So imagine how fast I could run. I run about 60 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah. So the cops got lucky today. That's what I like to say. That's the moral of the story. Cops got lucky. Okay, 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 low key, low key, low key though. Do you think if you were driving, we would have gotten pulled over? Bro, you guys told me to make a left. I feel like if I was driving or you were driving, that's because you was driving. I'm surprised you didn't paralyze them because they did pull out their deadly weapons. I told them too. We get the body cam footage. <laughs> I literally told them they had their deadly weapons. I respect law enforcement, so. I was say it's a pretty good day for them, all in all. Yeah. Could have been way worse. For them. For them. Not for me, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Now, nah, but low key, I'm glad Tanner didn't get arrested. Yeah, for real. I would have been fine. Hugo would have been fine, but like, I was just worried for Tanner the yeah. whole time. I would have had to sit there in the county through my court day until I got sent to prison. By the time you got out, Olympia 2026. <laughs> Imagine you versus Mike Van Vick. In front of the murder and be like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not afraid to go back to prison, bro. <laughs> All my homies in there. <laughs> Fuck, so are we doing more scenes? What do you think? I feel like we should do one more scene. So we actually did go and get another scene and it might have been even funnier than the first one. But just now as I was editing this video, I realized there was no audio. So this was just not my day. What a fucking shit show. But what can we all learn from this video? The gentleman in the first scene acted on his emotions and lied to get the police involved while I stayed calm the whole time and de-escalated the situation. You can clearly see which one of us optimizes our hormones with the sponsor of this channel, Transcend HRT. If you're thinking 
thinking about TRT yourself or you want to use some of their other great products like glutathione, which is the best thing you can use to prevent getting sick, or BPC-157 and TB4, which give you Wolverine-like abilities to heal your injuries. I literally just healed a wrist injury that I had for months within three days of adding these to my regimen. Link is in the description box and pinned comment. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So as we all know, Vladimir does not work out, but I do. And in case you guys haven't heard, my online coaching is back. So far, all of my clients have been absolutely crushing it. And if you're looking to take your physique to the next level, then look no further. I've been skinny. I've been huge. I've been shredded. I've maintained my current physique for years. I've done it all. Not to mention, I've helped hundreds of clients transform over the years. Whether you want to lose weight, put on muscle, you need cycle help, you just want to gain that Vladimir level of confidence and start being taken seriously, stop pussyfooting around and wasting time, fill out the application linked in the pinned comment, and let's get you to your goals.